Hello and welcome back. This is Darius Torna. Hi, Derwin. And we are back on Medieval Dynasty. Uh, today, we're going to be doing the Oath Keepers Quartermaster's Apprentice quest, as well as doing some other assorted things. Um, I want to say, I think that's our only quest. Oh, we also got to talk to Gilbert in the Saving Private Otter quest. Octor? quest um but yeah i took the quest uh while we were not recording so um basically um uh lubos has been kind of screwing around so we are going to be dealing with that um Beyond that, I just want to try to get uh, everything settled in our village. So, yeah, uh, I will bring you guys back in once Rave is here. All right, and we're back. So we were just talking about what we're going to do today. Um, I have already said it in my intro, and Rave is going to be working on um, our lumber issues. So, yeah. And food. And food. Because villagers are going to get hungry. Or they're going to eat all of our uh, cabbage. Yeah. Before I do anything, I'm going to go look at the people over here and see what we have available. I mean, good for extraction. It would be helpful. We'll work okay. for food and water and some firewood. Not her. Head, of course. Uh, not him. Am I too demanding? She's got a two. She has a three in production and survival. Do you want her? Um, let me take a look and see what we need for other stuff. My favorite times of the year are the parties between seasons. We have someone working in the kitchen, so production-wise, it's just a workshop, oh, which I don't really care about at the moment. Okay. Survival. Oh, that's right. Herbalist head is in under extraction. Okay, we have someone doing the herbalist head too, so... Yeah, I don't think we need her. Okay. Then I'm gonna... Go oh, there's a quest over here. Ooh, quests are good. Yeah. Ah, oh, instant crafting. How I have missed you so. Tomila, is everything alright? More than alright. Remember this day as... Oh. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah! <laughs> Remember this day as the day that uh, changed the world. I invented something that will truly revolutionize our society. Is it a new tool? Did you finally find a way to end all wars and famine? Better! I created a new game! True, that is better. Games are great. Um, a new one, but we already have farming! The world needs innovations, even if they are doomed to failure. It's obvious that no game will ever overthrow the simple joy of farming, but we, but we need new alternatives. And mine is almost ready. I just need a little help. What do you need? Okay, so listen. This game is called Stone Parchment Shears, and I need to get precisely three items. Then I'll display them nicely in front of my house and everyone will see. Don't worry, I've already made some arrangements. A very special stone is being prepared for me in by uh, Bronislaw in Skalki. Uh, and Sweebora from Astoya promised to donate her shears. I just need you to collect them for me. The last thing is parchment, and you can safely borrow one from the notice board. Getting rid of some of the older notes won't hurt anybody, and when you have all the items, come back to me. I'll only make it, uh, our... Not only will I make it worth your while, I'll teach you how to play the game as well. Alright. Yay! Yay, I'll be back as soon as possible. Alright. Next up is talking with Lubos. What do you want? I heard you might need some help with some deliveries. That job's already done. Who says I need help? I heard rumors from the villagers. Why did you get the supplies wrong? I didn't confuse anyone. It's not my fault they didn't appreciate the gifts. It's uh, who they are. The, the, uh, it's who who are th it's they who are the problem, not me. I don't know why I couldn't read that line. Uh, nitpicking when you get something for free, pathetic. The whole realm is supposed to be in crisis, you know. We'll see how they act when the real war comes one day. I'll, they'll beg for every piece of rubbish and rot they smell. <laughs> Who was unhappy with the delivery? 
All of them. The cow breeder complained about the feed, the blacksmith disliked the clothes, and the scamster threw the tools at me. Uh, the only one happy was the builder. He hugged the wine jug more gently than his twins. Uh, you should reach out to them and fix your mistakes. Earn their trust. They should be satisfied with what they have. I'm done with them. Here they're whining for yourself, if you like. You can't let down your master like this. I'll talk to the people. I should take some clothes up. All right. So here is Bogoslava. What? What are you shaking your head at? What's that smell? Are your cows all right? It's terrible. They sick. They're sick, and they have diarrhea. Oh, why did I listen to that new fellow? He brought me a package of onions and was convinced it would protect my heart from diseases and annoying insects. I didn't ask for any special medicine, he, but he talked me into it. Now, wherever my cows moo, I begin to cry from the sheer smell of onions. That was probably meant for someone else. Can you give me the remaining food? Here, take it. I don't want to see or smell it ever again. Tell this trickster to stuff his own mouth with them. Maybe it's not too late to cure his foolishness. I uh, thank you. I'll, I hope they get well soon. The heat is unbearable. Indeed. Oh, I can't put a lumber chopping station here because the train is too uneven. Ah, dang it. It's just one of the little decorative ones. Oh, uh, okay. Be perfect to fill up the space. All right, Gorzad, what oh, are you th what are you staring at? I wanted to ask you about your work clothes you received recently. Ah, another jokester. There are more of you than I realized. You're gonna regret that insult. Take this rag out of my face. What's wrong with it? Are you dumb? He gave me a dress. A little girl's dress. The weasel dumped the package while passing by my workshop. He only said briefly that it was a new apron for him. Far for me. Damn him. Um, and you took it seriously? It was an obvious mistake. Everyone laughed at me, told me to shave my hairy legs before I wear it. Damn that boy, take it away. <laughs> you should definitely shave your hairy legs before you wear it. Yes. Did you wipe your anvil with it? Some girl is waiting for this. I can't help it, my smithy isn't as clean as a maiden's arse, you know. It's dirty, dusty place that spews uh, stinging heat right into your sweaty face. It's everything but a child's dressing room. Fine, just give it back before you spew more smoke too. Heat. Uh, I don't feel like putting these to the right people is going to make things better. Yeah. Did I miss? Oh, there he is. Dragomir? Uh, how can I help you? I'm looking for a missing jug of wine. Uh, another one? Why does everyone already know about the jug? At this rate, I'll be left with uh, left with nothing in. Wait a second, did you say missing? That's what I said. Can I retrieve it? I can hear you clearly. Why would you take it from me? It was a gift. A young man said it was for my services for the town. You see, I've worked so well that hardly anyone noticed the fruits of my labor until now. I'll give it back when it's empty. The wine was meant for someone else. The quartermaster is looking for it. Darn it, Darwin's a ne decent man. I wouldn't like to get him in trouble, but there's one tiny problem. The jug is already half empty. My neighbors swarmed on my doorstep like flies on rotten meat. Everybody wanted a sip. Uh, you'll have to cover the losses. I'll take the jug and coins. Uh, just a moment ago, I thought it was my lucky day. Everyone said I only wanted to befriend the forgotten builder, and now I'm a common criminal. This is too much for me to take all at once. Here, take the money and pay my debt. I'll make it right, don't worry. And last one. It's over this way. Ooh, the bards are playing. Nice. All right. Welcome. How can I be of service? I'd like to collect a bundle of hammers. Of course, sir, but I'm afraid they haven't been sewn yet. You see, it takes a lot of knitting to, knitting to make uh, the material so dense that I can serve as a, it can serve as a hammer. What are you talking about? This doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's clear you yeah, have no. no idea about the crafting of sewing. I guess this conversation is over. over. I'd like to get back to my chores and not repeat myself anymore. Please take more care of yourself and don't hit your head with anything hard ever again. Goodbye. 
I still don't know what you're talking about, but I'm looking for a delivery of hammers. Why would I need rubbish like that? My work requires precision, not brute force. Wait a second. That This rings a bell after all. There was a strange young man here not long ago. He stormed into my sewing hut and tossed a bundle of wooden tools under my feet. They were utter garbage. Without hesitation, I burned them <laughs> to keep my house warm. I can't even recall if they were hammers. Those were the quartermaster's tools. Someone else is waiting for them. That's not my problem. They stopped being someone else's as soon as this brat dumped them at my sight. Now I remember he's Derwin's new errand boy. Tell him he's, it's his problem to deal with now. Uh, you could pay for the missing tools. No chance. I've dressed our quartermaster's whole family for the past winter, and I took nothing in advance. He still owes me a big favor. Craft them yourselves if the, uh, if you must. End the story. Uh, fine. Case closed. I'm boiling. It's kind of hard to argue sometimes. Yeah. I mean, I, I honestly feel kind of bad about telling the dude to pay for the half jug of wine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he didn't know it wasn't his. He was told it was. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's his fault. Yeah, so I'm gonna go deliver what I can to uh, Lubos. Damn, it's hot. Oh, there he is. All right. Why the grudge on your face? I talked to the townspeople. Your mistakes were worse than I thought. I've already told you they were too picky. I thought each delivery through. Can't be that bad. I'm afraid it is. I couldn't retrieve all the items. Take a look. What am I supposed to do with that? Half of them are gone. Listen, I'll take this dirty dress to a fair lady who I visit from time to time. She'll clean it up for me. Her father has some wine supplies hidden in a secret pantry. I think it'll be enough. Um, let's see here. First reasonable thing you've said. Go on. You shouldn't worry about anything. I have them marked out. As for you, get the remaining onions and the wooden hammers. Bring them back to me when you're done. Why would I do that? I've helped you enough already. I'm not stupid. I'm sure it was my master who asked you to help me. No one would aid me selflessly. It's very observant of you. Too bad you weren't like that while delivering goods. Fine, I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I have to wait for tomorrow and deliver him 10 hammers and 20 onions. Excellent. Let's go. Uh, let me see if we have any onions. I'm roasting out here. Nope. You have a lot of rot, though. Okay, that means that our onions probably went bad. Or we sold them because we weren't using them. Oh, that's true. We did just sell a bunch of stuff. <laughs> uh, we got lots of carrots, though. Yeah. Half, which are half bad. And plenty of meat. Alright. Let's see if we have... We don't have. Oh, those are copper hammers. Sure that they would oh, love to get. Hammers. Yeah, we don't have any wood hammers, so I need to make them. Yeah, it specifically wants wooden hammers. Yep. So we need ten logs, and I think a hundred sticks. Man, we have a lot of built-up manure. Well, that's good. Alright, hammers. Yeah, okay. 10 logs, 106. Yep. I am going to go turn the rot and what manure I could carry into fertilizer. Sounds good. Um... I'm going to sell a bunch of these seeds that we don't need. Okay. Remember to keep the uh, rye oat. Yeah. Oops. Roosters, this is the wrong time of night. Gotta wait till sunrise. <laughs> Uh, 
Let's see. Oh, we have a lot of leather. Makes sense. Ah, oh, instant crafting. Which would take me like three minutes otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> well, on the positive side, we are set for fertilizer. I'm that's making good. 189, and that's just with what I could carry. Jeez. Yep. Oh, hey. I went up to my first level on Farmer. Nice. Yeah. That will be so useful in another, like, four levels or three levels when I can get the Whistleblower. Oh, hey, good news. Our onions are actually in our resource storage because we were planning on selling them. Oh, awesome. We, we hadn't actually sold them yet. Nice. Well, take the rest with you. Yeah. That's also where all of our cabbage is. Uh, we still have a decent amount. Oh, okay. Like 80 something. But I also just made like 40 pottage. Well, I highly doubt that anyone's going to be open for me to sell anything to today. Uh, so... you might be able to do the. Uh, tavern. Oh yeah, that's true. Let me head over there. But if you want to just sleep, that's fine too. Yeah, I'll head to the tavern. See, oh, it looks like everyone's at the tavern. Sweet. Nice. Okay. Got too late then. They're leaving right now. I gotta hurry. <laughs> All right. That was a good thing I made fertilizer. Because I think we had about zero. Ah, oh, man. Tried to follow uh, Ponzamir into his house and didn't make it quite in time. Oops. Usually, though, once they're heading to bed, they won't talk to you even though they're not in their house or in their bed. Oh, really? Yeah, as that happened to me the, yesterday when I was going to go do a quest. There was a guy who had a quest. I hadn't started it yet. And he was walking to his house and refused to talk to me. Oh, that's lame. Yeah, it was frustrating. Alright, well... That was the end of the season, so I got teleported home. Oh, that really sucks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and I did the... Um, the... Swamp... Something evil from the Swamp Quest. And I rode my donkey up there, put everything out around the tree, came out of the... Uh, the tree placing interface yeah and this season got warped home never saw that happen oh that sucks yeah so did you actually see things hop out of the ground and or out of the water and eat stuff no okay because they didn't like say anything or nothing i was just i put it there and then got warped home and that was it everybody was happy Alright, I'm heading back to go sleep. Okay, it kicked me out of the bed for some reason. <laughs> Maybe you got restless. I went and made the rest of the uh, when you were in the fertilizer. Nice. We will get more, and now we are set for the year. Uh, I do not have a baby yet. Time to go sell some stuff. Oh, oh it's we have to repair the tools for the workers. Best Oops. goods in the realm.
in my 100 days game. I got so tired of making stone tools for the, uh, the wood choppers that I ended up just telling my blacksmith to make copper axes for them. <laughs> All right, now we have 342 fertilizer. Nice. Yeah. Now, I need to make some tools. Ooh, we're low on sticks. That was another problem I was having. I was always out of sticks. Yeah. Uh, I stuck some meat in the uh, resource storage. I see it. Okay. And salted fish meat. There's uh, eggs in there to sell off to. Okay. And wine. Oh, you know the plum wine quest that we just had? Yeah. I got the cherry wine quest in my game. Oh, nice. Yep. That was funny. And appropriate because I much prefer cherry wine. <clears throat> Alright. You're not coming back empty handed, I see. I have the missing products. How about you? Yeah, I got mine too. So, the whole set of items to deliver all over again. Just do it right this time. It can't be that bad. It's not that easy. You see, I have a list. Derwin gave it to me, but. It's... I can't figure it out. Are you trying to tell me that you can't read? That's just great. I never needed that. Master Derwin surprised me with the note, but I took it. I didn't want to show him any hesitation. Now I can't just back out. He'd lose his trust in me. Why do I feel like you hate this apprenticeship? That's nonsense. I came especially to this town to train under Derwin. The future quartermaster should know how to read. You should try harder then. Maybe I will someday, but I can't learn overnight. Listen, help me out. I need this job. Sure, what do you need this time? Take a look at this list and read it to me. I want to finally get through this task. Deliver the jug of wine to the innkeepers, the dress to the windmill, the onions to the cook, and the hammers to the workshop. Make Derwin satisfied this time. Now I gotta go talk to Derwin. Sounds good. Okay, we do need a uh, production person. Oh, okay. I'll go hire her before I go talk to Derwin then. Let me see if her will work. What did I call this thing? Quarry Lane? That's probably it. Okay, yeah, we can take either oh, male or female. Man. Sweet. This should be it right here. Um. All right, I can't walk up to it though. Yeah, we're really laying west. You're back. Oh, what news do you bring? I did, yes. Um, I helped Lubos with the delivery mistake. I knew I could count on you. Has he learned from his lessons from this mess? He was pretty annoyed most of the time, but above all, it would save him some additional work if he could read. I know he has a problem with attitude. The boy should learn that not every mission is a thrilling challenge, but some are unpleasant duties that must be performed to move on. From what you say, it's not only his fault, I'm partially blamed for the extra work too, since I had no idea Lubos couldn't read. Um, I think you should find someone else for an apprentice. This fellow will only get you into more trouble. If he does, that's on me. Uh, who doesn't make mistakes uh, and never learns anything new? He'll improve. Listen, Lubos is a proud lad, just like his father. Yes, I knew his old man, but I won't bore you with that ancient history now. 
Just know that the boy's an or orphan uh, for years and has gone through a lot of misery. I don't want him to hit the road again. Um, This could explain why he's so rough and crude. Poor kid. I'll keep an eye on him. Come visit us sometime. You're always welcome. Wait till next season. Yay! Hurry up and wait. Yep. Also, if you're running any sticks, we're out. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go talk to Gilbert. Gilbert's good. He's a nice guy. Yeah. He's a scouty. Cool. I need oh, ten sticks. You again. Luckily, we haven't heard of the sticks around our place for a while. Yeah. Alright. Off to speak with Gilbert. Mayor Day's always as good as mine is today. Somebody's in a trippy mood. How's my favorite village leader doing? No idea. You didn't have to ask Octor about you'd have to ask Octor about that. No way, your wayward son became the boss? He did indeed. His headstrong father finally saw further than the tip of his nose and made the right decision to retire. I'm proud of you, Gilbert. Thanks for saying that. I guess I proved anyone using the phrase, you can't teach an old dog new tricks tomorrow, and I feel great about it. How does Octor uh, feel about his new leader shoes? You'd have to ask him about it yourself. I presume he might feel a bit overwhelmed at first, but that's completely normal. I'm sure uh, he will quickly get the hang of it. I'm happy for both of you. You're an incredible human being, with a truly golden heart in your chest. We both wish to thank you so very much. I almost feel like there are no words that could express our gratitude towards you. Here, please accept this as a small token of our appreciation, and remember that you're always welcome here in Skalki, no matter what. Um, I'd be more than honored. I wish your family, your whole family all the best. Ooh, 30 iron bars. Ooh. That will be great eventually. Yeah. Oh. Stay vigilant quest is done. Yay. All right, stone parchment shears now. Skunky. Oh, that's where I'm at. Excellent. And you're halfway there. Yeah. Halfway there. Oh, getting a rock. No living on prayer for you. Nope. Alright. Hello, how's it going? Hi, I'm here to collect the special stone for Tfamila. Ah yes, I've been waiting for her. I wouldn't normally allow an extraordinary piece like this to be taken by a courier, but you seem like trustworthy enough. Please just be gentle with it. What's this crap supposed to be? No, that would be so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, see you around. Good thing after it. <laughs> roasting out here. Alright, now I gotta go inspect the notice board. Man, I'm making so many different copper tools. Make like a third of four different tools, five different tools per day. How do you do? Back to Beastovia. All right, we still need a uh, an extraction person too when you're in these 
Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to check this. Um, no problem. Read the oldest looking notes. After a brief, brief search, you find three pieces of parchment that look the most overdue. First one says, "Looking for a devil with multicolored eyes that will defile my daughter, or that defiled my daughter, and ran away before fulfilling the promise of marriage." Coin prize awaits. Uh, the next piece of paper contains the following statement. I don't care who reads it. I'm in love with my shovel and I'm not ashamed of it. Third one. Um, please stop stealing my bottle plugs. I worked really hard to collect all of them. I had a dream that they would become uh, currency someday. It just hasn't happened yet. I'm going to take that third one. That's why I think I took two. The heat nice. Is okay. Did we ever get a second saddle? Um, I thought I did. I thought I bought two. It would be in the chest if we did. Speaking of, I'm going to go dump this. Yeah, it's not in the chest. Let's see if it's on the donkey. I think it's on the donkey. I think I saddled your donkey for you. Aw. Have you figured out how to give them saddlebags? I have not. Because I wasted 1,800 coins I did not have to put saddlebags on my donkey, and I can't figure out how. Dang. Yep. Alright, I have them out. Nice. And you did put it on for me. Okay, off to Astoria. Which, there's a quest thing, Astoria. We never figured out a game for our town. Oh, that's true. Which, there's a new update that's going to be coming out for this game soon, and you'll be able to name your town. And, like, have a sign that says it. Yeah, I saw that. I'm what excited. I would really like is to have a town marker. <laughs> yes, that also would be nice. Yeah. Oh, let's not kind of pull top of that. I just came up to a cliff and almost ran straight off it. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, I have confirmed your donkey does take falling damage. Oh, okay. Hi, boar. Okay. The eggs here in, town, or in Piastovia. Oh, or and wolf. Uh, I have confirmed you can take damage while on your donkey, by the way. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> I have also seen evidence of that. And wolves like to try to eat your donkey. Yes, they do. But your donkey can outrun them. Oh yeah, I think there's bears over this way. What a scorcher! I'm almost, to, or I am to where I'm building in the uh, Hundred Days game. Nice. It's a lovely spot through here. Okay, so you're heading to Astoya? Yep. Alright, one of the stone parchment shears things is there, so I'll let you grab that. That's why I was heading there. Cool. Plus, it doesn't sound like you've been there for recruiting purposes, and there's another quest there also. Yep. I'll head up to Klonica for the other quest up there, and to check Sounds those... Good. Plus, this is where my Winston are, that I oh, go hunting. Nice. That's right. I need a Winston skull for my house. That's awesome. Alright. First things first, I will check. Oh. I'm dead tired. So, I went Winston hunting yesterday. Oh, and, there, you know, I went up there and there was three Winston, so I started attacking him. And I was hearing what sounded like arrows shooting by me. Oh. And I didn't know where they were coming from. Turns out there was a bandit camp there. So the wind that I had wounded but not killed, and was very mad, started chasing the bandits. <laughs> I killed two of the three of them, I killed the other one. Nice. Oh. And there's also wolves there, so the wolves got involved. Nice. Those were the most uh, poorly placed bandits ever. <laughs> All right, I hired one extraction guy. There's another man and another woman, both good for extraction here. Um, 
don't think we have places to put more extraction people, but let me check. Yeah, our extraction is full up. Okay. So if we wanted to make a third excavation shed, we totally could. But I'm not at home right now to make it. Yeah. It's Do we have like houses for them? I just don't like conversations about the weather. Let crops, me take a look. Because I would like to get them. You guys into a house. One of them is also good at production and survival, and yeah. the other one is also good at survival. So they're good at multiple skills. So I'd like to grab them up. If and you said that they're male and female. Yep, there's one man and one woman. Okay. Yep, we have uh, Mary Peace. West North. Hello there. Cause they they'll get upset not having a job, but <laughs> yeah, they at least won't. But get... I'll get a job for him shortly. Yeah, and All I right. can always bring to work in the farm in the meantime. That's true. All right, there's two quests up here that I'll go ahead and grab. Oh, these two can't live together. How can I help you? They are more than 10 years apart in age, therefore they can't have a family. Ah. Uh -huh. Can I help you with something? You seem annoyed. I'm always like this since one piggy in my herd constantly wanders off from the rest. Fortunately, it always goes east. I'm tired of picking it up over and over again. Could you get it for me at least once? This is such a ridiculous quest. Um, sounds easy. What am I looking for? Well, he's small, three years old, but soon to be four. His name's Whistla, and he's a curious little piglet. Remind him to come back and not stray too far from the village. Many thanks. Uh, I can even chase him back. Alright, and then... Oh, we have room for farmers. Okay. Oh, Yaropelk. This is another really long quest line. Are you well? Yeah. That's kind of important, so I'll go ahead and get it started. What's troubling you, young man? You seem very concerned about something. Uh, I've been thinking about you recently, sir. Greetings to you. Not surprised at all. I hear that all the time. There's no doubt about that. Hiring new people? Huh? Didn't you just hire new people? Mm-hmm. Can't find anyone who doesn't have a job. Huh, that's weird. Yeah. Hmm. Your reputation and favors for our village are well recognized. Uh, do me an honor and raise a toast with me. You deserve it. How could I refuse? I have a bottle and an outpost just outside the village. The place is not far away. Come, finally, do it then. Alright. Okay, I got one of them. Did you hire two or three people total? Uh, I hired two people. Oh, okay. I thought you hired uh, oh, wait. two that were good at production. You're right. I hired, I hired three people. Yeah. Weird. Okay, that must be the... No, she has a job. Oh, somehow the lumberjack has got a job. Huh. But got a house. Well, I see a small child where the pig is supposed to be. Hello! Well, hello there. You're a strange little piglet. This is how my m that uh, this is how my mom calls me. You must be her friend. That's right. She's worried and wants you to come home. I won't go. I'm playing hide-and-seek with my toy horse. His name is Chessa. No, will f no one will find him ever. You want to bet? If I find him, you're going home. Huh? You can try, but you won't win. No one knows that he hid in the wood piles. Uh, of course not, boy, but let me try. What? Alright, this is the smallest of the surrounding piles of wood. There's not much to search through unless the toy is really small. Take a closer look and flip through a few pieces of wood. You flip through a few pieces, but it's just as you guessed. There's nothing of interest in this pile, apart from a few worms uh, fleeing in terror and a rotten apple stub. Oh, I'm roasting out here. Large pile of wood. You stand in front of a freshly chopped large pile of firewood. The scent of resin is lightly teasing your nostrils. Search the pile for the toy horse hidden by Winslow. 
Um, the pile is quite homogenous, consisting almost exclusively of similar sized chunks of firewood, apart from a single long stick which catches your eye immediately. Take this long stick and look at it in more detail. This isn't a random stick that fell from a tree. It's been carefully work worked to serve the, as the spine of a toy. You notice that it has a slightly worn area where the child placed the toy between its legs during play. Leave the spot with the stick. <sighs> Next pile of wood. Whoops. Stole a wooden wheel. Um, you approach a heap of wooden waste. It contains a variety of broken objects thrown away by the villagers of Klonika. Um, as you're searching through, you uh, picking up discarded defective planks and broken cartwheels. There's an inconspicuous uh, little piece of wood that catches your eye. Take the small piece of wood and take a closer look at it. It's short, carefully polished wooden stick. It looks like a toy horse handle. Final wood pile. This pile of wood has been lying here for a while. It's overgrown by plants and the wood visibly older and more fragile. Rip up the ivy and clear the top few pieces. You notice there's a small space under the top layer of wood. Uh, put your hand in between the wood pieces and feel if there's anything worth noting. Your hand comes across a large piece of wood that doesn't match the rotten and old logs around it. The piece has a strange shape that uh, you can easily grasp and pull out. All right. Go and take the pieces of the toy back to the small child. He says, I told you it couldn't be found. This horse is quite good at hide and seek. It even managed to dismember itself. That's impossible, you cheat. I don't want a broken toy. Throw it away. Um, you're about to get me off balance. Look, this stick is inserted here. And it's as good as new. See? Oh, it's fixed. But... Now I won't be getting a new one. Kid starts crying. Calm down, boy. Let's make a deal. I'll keep the toy horse and you tell your parents it was lost. Yes, it's the same as if it gets lost and broken. Now that the problem with your toy has been solved, off you go. I should go home now. Mom's probably worried. Besides, I'm hungry. I'm sure she has some salty snacks. She sure does. Don't stray too far home from home again. I need to drink something. Now I gotta go talk to his mom again. That was good. I am doing the exciting thing of villager juggling. Nice. Which makes for exciting content while you read off all these quests. <laughs> How did it go with my little piglet? From now on, Whistlaw should stick closer to the settlement. So he won't stray away anymore. What did you do? Or rather, what was so interesting back there? He broke his toy horse apart and hid it in piles of wood. Ah, uh, this horse again. It has been constantly breaking into pieces for some time now. The toy was made by my late father, who is a skilled woodcutter and wood artist. It was a thorn in the side of my husband since he hopes Whistlaw will become a hunter, not a woodworker. Uh, I have taken the horse with me. Do you mind? Not at all. It was broken anyways. I don't want my piglet to get hurt by it. Maybe I'll order him a wooden hog for a change. Anyway, accept these salty snacks as my gratitude. It's a family recipe. If you fancy more, I can sell you some extra treats. I prepare them every season. Thank you. Oh, Alright. Now I gotta follow Yarrow Pelk to the Hunter Outpost. Has a place to live and job. Lubomira is uh, been taking off of woodworking and temporarily put on animal breeding. Okay. But soon she's going to become mother. Ah. Uh, That's why I took her off woodworking. Oh, gotcha. Oh, I didn't put my that meat away. Oops.
Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Let's take that one. Bit. All right. Talking to Yarrow Pelk again. Thank you for joining me. Take this bottle of mead. Accept a toast to the friend of Klonica. To your health and prosperity. It's about time. I'm dry as a bone. Now, as the ice is breaking is done, I suppose I should finally introduce myself. My name is Yarrow Pelk. Uh, some call me the son of the she-wolf. This is because I happen to be the heir of the chieftainess of our village. My mother falls over herself to prepare me for my future role of a hunter and a village leader. The problem is that I don't really see myself as either of them. The harder she tries to oversee me, the more doubts and flaws I see in my actions. The pressure makes me want to leave this place for good. You, you on the other end, you seem to get along with the people and you're good at fixing problems. What advice would you have for a man in such a quandary? Um, let's see here. Your work may feel like punching an adamanti, uh, adamant wall, stone wall, but uh, keep in mind that there will eventually come one that fi one final blow that will smash it in half. Take your time, young man. Thank you. Let's sip to that. Does your kin have a long history in these lands? Our family has borne the title of the village leader since the very beginning. Last time it was passed un in unusual circumstances, though. My mother, uh, Slawa, claimed the position after my father, Wohimir, uh, went missing. He was the greatest tracker and hunter in this land This land has ever known. I wish I could make him proud. He never hesitated like I do. I always did what he wanted. Uh, if only I knew him a little bit better. Was he that good of a scout? He lost himself in the woods, after all. Of course he was. Don't try to imply anything else. No one could survive in that kind of blizzard. My mother says it was the harshest winter she remembered. Let's drink to his memory and legacy then. I can't miss such a worthy toast uh, in memory of my father. But darn, my bottle's empty. I've got some wine hidden around. Fetch us some bottles, please, and do the honors. This is a one-of-a-kind uh, one workplace you have here. It's well-equipped. I'll look around. I had to come back in the middle. All right, uh, stop this quest in the middle of it, right? Like at this point, because it was too dark for me to really do anything. Yeah. So. Well, we can time. sleep in a couple minutes if you want. Uh, I, uh, I should be able to, because I want to get this part done before I go to sleep, because. Where? Then I get really drunk. Oh, you got me. Got him. All right, three wins it down. Ah, only one skull between them. There he is. But that's not any more leather. That's Good job. 110 meat. Nice. Good job. That should suffice to the honor of the finest huntsman this land has ever given birth to, and to his son, who will soon follow in his footsteps. Ugh, tastes worse than I remember. It's the current year, and I must not have properly filtered it. As for the footsteps, that won't be so easy. I've tried countless times. I've studied his trails over and over. I've visited his favorite spots and stared at the same stale trees and rocks in hope that I'd finally feel something. Nothing came but cold shivers and emptiness. I tell myself that in the northern forest there still has something to offer me, and I might have missed something, but my father has long been gone, and traces of his path uh, pass slowly wither. Uh, this delusion kept me from thinking about leading our village one day. I'm just not ready. I truly believe that the woods would prepare me for the role, just like they hardened my father. Even if I decided to go back there, the area got more dangerous than it used to be. Wild beasts have not been the only dwellers of the forest lately. Bandits and smugglers disturb the peace and scare away the wild king. Curse them. Bandits are a plague of this land. Where did you see those scoundrels? Don't worry, we're safe here. They usually watch for lonely wanderers. Not, no enemy dares come too close to our village. We are armed and strong. They know that. Keep your secrets, then. I may scout the forest on my own. No, wait. I can't. You can't. I mean, you can, but I won't let you. I won't let you go alone. Count me in. This is my forest, after all. Oh, boy. I have to take another sip. Wait. Hear that? Ha! 
That's my guts roar, and I need something to chew on if we're about to keep drinking this excuse for wine. Get some of the woodcutter's cheese, would you? They won't mind if I take some? They may be tough, but they're, they aren't too observant of anything besides work. No one will notice. They stash it away in their camp. Look around. I'll, I need to answer nation's, nature's call. Alright, but it better taste good. I'm boiling. Off I go to get cheese. Yay! Cutter's cheese. What are you doing? You shouldn't be overloaded. Just unloaded you. <sighs> Damn, it's hot. All right, got the cheese. Back to Yarapek. Yes, I'm at home. I'm wildly overloaded. Finally, I was afraid I'd die from starvation. Give me those beauties, will you? Here you go. I don't think no one—I I don't think anyone noticed anything. They taste just as good as they look. Yum. Besides, don't worry about our axe-wielding companions. They're packed with them. So much so, the stench never leaves them. Ugh. Lumberjacks trade wood for goods in Piastovia, but above all, they buy cheese. Um, their weakness for it makes them blind to the prices they get for their stock. Those stiffs aren't as bright as we cunning hunters are. Anyways, vigilance, you know. Uh, enough talk. Let's take another bottle and have a bite. To our endeavor. You counted on, You counted me in. Don't forget that. Cheers. Um, to the quest. Drink the bottle. Ugh, ugh. Gotta get rested before our scout. Where's my pallet? I need to lay down for a while. Lend me a hand. Um, let's hunt it down. And now I'm super drunk. And neither he nor I are walking in a straight line. <laughs> well, at least you're having a good time. Yeah. Why does my donkey feel so slow? I think your weight does affect the donkey. Does it? Yeah, because I'm going way slower. Huh. And my character is wildly <laughs> overloaded. I'm going to try taking everything off the donkey instead of just leaving it with 30 kilograms. It took ages. Why did you take a detour? I'd get myself home much <clears throat> faster. Stop whining. You're home in one piece. That's what matters. No, you're whining. I've explored myself all the way. Now you go. I don't want you near my bed. You're no fluffy sow. I need to let we meet soon. Alright, now I gotta wait for the next morning. My character's giggling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to avoid those wolves because I can't outrun them this time. I am just gonna collect sticks so I can sleep out here. Oh, never mind. End of season? End of season. Well. I guess I don't have to worry about getting home. Nope. Uh, I'm still on my mount. Oh, nice. Oh, being attacked by bandits. Oh, run away. Run away. I can barely outrun the bandit. That's funny. Okay, guess I'm going the extra long way home. Yo, quit shooting my ass! Quit stabbing my ass! Yo! Stop following me! Oh, finally! I'm sorry, donkey. Can't take that arrow out of your butt. 
All right. Well. Yes, I can. Whew. Yeah, he'll stop taking damage constantly. Oh, was your donkey bleeding? Yeah. Oh wow, that's crazy. He got an arrow in the butt and like stabbed five or six times. Oh jeez. Yeah, it was rough. I finally got across the river and down a ways and they stopped following me. But my donkey was at like almost half health. Wow. Yep. Why couldn't it have just teleported me home? Right? That's crazy that it didn't. <laughs> I think it's because I'm on the mount. Yeah. Alright. But I'm not terribly far away from the storage area, so I might go drop off all the meat there. Okay. Well, I think I've gotten enough done for my episode, so I can pause it if you want to keep recording, or we can end the episode here. I'm good with that in the episode. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. If you did enjoy the episode, slap a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, though, until next time, keep on surviving. Hey, have fun gaming. Good